and welcome back to Seeing It Their Way. We are in the middle of our book review series called Pass the Book. It's where we're reading a series of books from the Helen Ruffin Reading Bowl list um, that my sons got from their book club. And every year in January, they have a competition on these books. And so I decided to read the books with them and um, also give them writing assignments on each book. And every Friday they wrote a summary about the book. So today they're gonna to be giving you their summary on this book called The Season of Sticks Malone. After their summary, we'll read the synopsis and give our reviews on this book to let you know if you need to go out and get this book for your young readers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass the book to the boys. Are you ready, Deacon? It's showtime. Oh, uh, I was just rereading my <laughs> summary for sticks, the season of six months that I'm going to be showing you. <laughs> reading you. Reading you. The summary of the book called The Season of Sticks Mama. The book is about two boys named Caleb and Bobby G. They have they are boring, ordinary lives until they made a trade with Corey Cormier. He's a bully. They, tra they traded Caleb's little sister, Susie, for some fireworks. And he agreed. But there's one problem. When their mo mother got home, she asked, Where is Susie? Then they and they drove and they drove to Corey's house. And now they have to do chores for a couple of weeks. The day they need they need they needed to start working, Caleb and Bobby Jean needed to find a place to keep the fireworks. Then they bumped into Sticks Malone. He was about to fight them for walking up on him. They told him they need they needed help hiding the fireworks. To, so they made a plan to sell the fireworks and buy some something. Sticks Sticks' dad left him when Sticks was on, was young and his mom died. So he lived in a in foster homes. And he can also drive. So they sold a man the fireworks and got some parts and money. They went to Caleb's backyard. They were wondering where they could work. They could get a riding lawnmower from a farmer. So they he headed up to a farmer, traded some scraps for the lawnmower, and they got it. Then Sticks needed a to find an, a motor, so. They went to an auto shop and they stole from him. Sticks knew the, that Pike likes lunch boxes, so he gave him one. Then they called him to ask him if someone made a trade with him. With with him. No, no one did. But Sticks said he did. Then Mr. Pike got the caller ID and came to their house. Then Caleb Bob and Bobby G got grounded. But they kept sneaking uh, out. While while they snuck out, they got the moped. So they kept on getting grounded. Until one time, their dad called it DCS and told them about sticks. He got ran over by a pickup truck because he got on the moped and drove off. Then they have to find him a place to stay, and none of the foster homes want him. Then Caleb told his parents that he got taken away from Mr. Pike, so Sticks now lives with Mr. Pike. And that's my summary for the season of Sticks Malone. Synopsis for the season of Sticks Malone. Caleb Franklin and his big brother Bobby Jean have the whole summer to explore the woods in southern Indiana. Caleb longs to venture beyond their small town, but his dad likes the family to stay close to home. Then Caleb and Bobby Jean meet new neighbor Styx Malone. Styx is 16 and he oozes cool. He promises the boys that together they can pull off a great escalator trade, a way to turn one small thing into more and more until they achieve their wildest dream. But as the trade gets bigger, the brothers 
find themselves in over their heads. Sticks are secrets, and Caleb fears their whole plan might fall apart. Ba -ba -ba. I feel like this book is a good, good book for a mature audience. Like, I don't think it would be a good book for a younger audience that would want, that maybe would like listen to everything. You know, like they would do things that they hear. Cause a lot of, the, some of the stuff ain't really good for kids to do. The review about this book, it's a uh, really, okay. I don't know how to put this in words. It's kind of, it's not a good book if you don't want your kids to be lying, stealing. Because six shows you how to lie and how to lie and steal. You want to be truthful and not steal. You don't want to steal. You want to tell the truth and not steal. But he shows you how to do that. And these two kids' lives were ordinary until sticks came to their lives. I have this book four out of five languages. Four out of five stars. Because you kind of need some maturity to listen to this. And it sometimes has language. Like one time, like people snapping at their mom. More aggressive language, not mm -hmm. foul language, right? Yeah, more aggressive. I rate this book a three out of four, five. Because I don't want, if I read this, if my kids read this book, I don't want them lying or stealing. It depends on if they're really good, then I would recommend it. But if they're sometimes bad, sometimes good, it, I don't think so. I give it three and a half stars because in the book, The Season of Six Malone, like the boys said, there are a lot of bad behavior that's going on that even with them, while we were reading, I would look over and be like, you better not do that. <laughs> so for uh, younger readers who may be easily influenced, this may not be an appropriate book for them um, because it does have kids like sneaking out of the house you know, breaking different rules, actually stealing. Um, it is like a coming of age book, but um, it wasn't really addressed that these things are bad and we shouldn't do these things. Um, it was more focused on the whole coming of age aspect of the book and um, with one of the characters really more so finding themselves. The book was actually a good read. I thoroughly enjoyed reading it. But as a parent, if you're not reading along with your children, you won't know that some of the things are a bit suspect, <laughs> to say the least. So I would encourage you, if you're gonna read this book, which is it's a good read, if you're gonna allow your children to read this book, that I'm gonna encourage you to read along with them or read it before them so that you guys can have an open dialogue about what's right and what's wrong. Uh, and you know, things that you absolutely should not do and things that are not acceptable. Um, but it, it, it definitely does that. It opens up conversation between you and your children if you read this along with them. So again, the season of six, six Malone, I get a bit a three and a half stars out of five and I will have it linked below along with all the other books that we're reading in our past the book along series. Excuse the thunder. Make it a great one. Bye.